Hi friends, I am Utkarsh from Flight Level 070 and today we will be discussing how to execute an ILS approach on the Airbus A320. Uh, for reference, I will be using the Flight Crew Operating Manual. I would like to repeat, this is not a training video. I am just making these videos so that whoever is type rated can get a quick recap. So let's begin. According to the Airbus Flight Crew Operating Manual, an ILS approach is categorized as a fully managed approach where the lateral and the vertical uh, profile is fully managed. For reference, heading vertical speed is used and it is associated with FD crossbars. For any approach, it is very important to know the stabilization criteria. So the objective is to be stabilized on the descent path on the final descent path at a V approach in the landing configuration at 1000 feet AGL under instrument conditions. There are a few uh, conditions that must be met for you to be stabilized which are the aircraft should be on the correct lateral and uh, vertical flight path, aircraft should be in the landing configuration, the thrust should be stabilized and uh, usually it should be above idle and uh, maintaining your V approach then there should not be any excess uh, flight parameter deviations from the normal flight path if these conditions are not met you must initiate a go around at 1000 feet agl keep in mind it should not be confused with the minimums this is just a stabilization criteria if you're not stabilized then a go around must be initiated there are two approach uh, speed techniques one is the decelerated approach and the other is the early stabilized approach for an ILS decelerated is the standard procedure then just in case you want to discontinue your approach if you're at or above the FCU set altitude you can discontinue the approach or initiate a go around but if you're below the FCU set altitude then you must initiate a go around at or above the FCU set altitude you can cancel the approach you will announce cancel approach and push the approach push button on the FCU then uh, you will select the desired uh, lateral and vertical modes and select the speed as required. Uh, now we will look at how can we configure the aircraft and uh, how can we utilize the guidance modes. Let's have a look on how and when to configure the aircraft. The first thing is to sequence the flight plan. If you're in the nav mode or in the heading track mode and you fly close to the flight plan route, then the flight plan will sequence automatically. Otherwise, you'll need to manually sequence the flight plan. I will show you in the flight simulator. Then you need to activate the approach phase or check if it's already activated. If you're in the nav mode and you overfly the diesel pseudo waypoint, then it will activate automatically. If you're in the heading track mode, then you need to activate it manually when you're 15 nautical miles from the touchdown. Down. once you activate the approach phase manage speed so you can either select speed if there's any ATC restriction otherwise you need to manage speed so that the aircraft decelerates accordingly then once you're at the green dot speed the pilot flying will request uh, flaps one and the pilot monitoring will check for the speed and uh, select flap one for a decelerated approach the aircraft must be established with flaps one and S speed when at or above 2000 feet while intercepting the glide slope and uh, when at 2000 feet the flaps 2 will be ordered and selected accordingly if you're uh, if during the decelerated approach the aircraft intercepts the glide path below 2000 feet then uh, you will select flaps 2 when one dot below the glide slope when you have flaps 2 then you will order gear down and select uh, gear down auto brake confirm according to the briefing and you'll arm the spoilers and select the nose light and the runway turn off light to on. Then uh, once you have the landing gear down, you will select uh, flaps three and uh, also check for the wheel page on the systems display. And uh, also look for the residual braking pressure in the triple indicator. When you have flaps three, you will order full flaps and uh, select full flaps. Also, you will look for the deceleration towards uh, V approach and uh, check uh, for the auto thrust that if it is in the speed mode or it is off. At 1000 feet AGL, you will check that you are at V approach in, uh, and you are stable in the landing configuration with the landing checklist complete. Uh, if you are not, then you need to initiate a go around. 
but if you're already stabilized then you can continue the approach down to the minimums let's uh, go ahead and have a look of the guidance management uh, let's have a look on how to manage our automation during the approach the when you are cleared for the approach and uh, you're on the intercept trajectory you will press the approach push button on the fcu and uh, this will arm your localizer and glide slope modes then you will engage both autopilots and you will read the fma and uh, look for uh, your lock and glide slope in blue which will ensure that they are armed and uh, then you will monitor the localizer and the glide slope capture once you see the glide slope capture you will set the go around altitude and uh, you need to take care with the go around altitude you set so read the go around procedure well and uh, check for the constraint during the go around procedure then you will monitor the flight parameters and the pilot monitoring will call out excessive deviation which will be of half dot deviation of the localizer as well as the glide slope then when you're at minimum plus 100 feet you will either listen for the automatic call out of uh, 100 above or announce 100 above then uh, once you are at the minimum then you will announce or monitor the standard call out of minimums once you are below the minimums and you continue the approach you need to be in visual reference until you land the aircraft if you have visual reference you will announce continue but if you do not have sufficient visual runways you, you will make the standard call out to go around which will be go around flaps also one thing to keep in mind is uh, when transitioning from imc to vmc there is a usual human tendency to duck under the glide slope so take care and just maintain the glide path that you have been following throughout the ILS so I think it's time that uh, we can head for the flight simulator here we are flying at 4000 feet in the heading mode and being radar vectored for ILS runway 28 into Victor India Delta Papa we have selected speed at 220 knots due to ATC restrictions Approach checklist. Briefing confirmed. ECAM status checked. Seat belts on. Barrow ref QNH 1010 set. Minimum 1006 feet set. Engine mode selector normal. Landing lights on. Approach checklist complete. So let us begin with the sequencing the flight plan manually as we are flying in the heading mode far from the flight plan route. The, to begin with you will on the CDU press the direct key and then use the line select keys to select uh, your final descent point or your final approach fix then insert the radial inbound in our case it is 104 as our track will be 284 check the FMA for the nav blue that is the nav is armed but since we are being radar vectored full heading to disarm nav Inserting radial inbound will extend the intercept track from the final approach fix or the final descent point. Flight level 070, turn left, heading 104, descent 2600 feet. Left heading 104, descent 2600 feet, flight level 070. Thrust idle, <coughs> open descent. All blue 2600 blue heading 104 blue check two thousand five hundred radio altimeter alive check 1000 to go check speed alt start check at the bottom left corner of the pfd we can find the ils information from which we can check the distance to the threshold. Since we are in the heading mode, we need to manually activate the approach phase when we are 15 nautical miles from the touchdown. Flight level 070, 
turn left heading 310 cleared for ILS runway 28 advise when established on the localizer left heading 310 cleared for ILS runway 28 will advise when established when cleared for the approach on the intercept trajectory press the approach push button and engage both autopilots glide slope blue lock star cat 3 dual autopilot 1 plus 2 checked monitor the lock and glide slope capture Okay, we are going to be about 15 nautical miles from the threshold, so we will activate the approach phase manually, and then manage the speed. Activate approach phase. Approach phase activated. Speed 137 mahinta. Checked. Localizer alive. Checked. Flight level zero seven zero established on the localizer. Flight level zero seven zero cleared to land runway two eight. Cleared to land runway two eight. Flight level zero seven zero. As we decelerate to green dot speed, select flap one. Flaps one. Speed checked. Flaps one. Lock checked. Since we are intercepting the glide slope below 2,000 feet AGL, we will select flaps two when one dot below the glide path. Glide slope alive. Check. Flaps two, speed check. Flaps two. Glide slope star. Set go around altitude six thousand five hundred feet. Go around altitude six thousand five hundred feet. Set. Gear down. Gear down. Okay. Once you select the gear down, the PM flows are we used to start from the lights. That is your runway turn off light and the nose light. Then check the auto brake and confirm according to the approach briefing. Or if there is any change to the runway conditions, then spoilers to arm. And then select flap three and check the triple indicator for residual braking and the systems display for the wheel page. Flaps three. Speed check. Flaps three. Flaps full. Speed check. Flaps full. Landing checklist. Cabin crew advised. Auto thrust speed. Auto brake low. Ecam memo. Hold checklist at ecam memo. One thousand. Stabilize. Then we are stabilized at one thousand feet, so we will continue.
रिज्यूम चेकलिस्ट एट ई कैम मेमो ई कैम मेमो लैंडिंग नो ब्लू लैंडिंग चेकलिस्ट कंप्लीट Five hundred. Okay. Once we are visual, de- disconnect autopilot. Turn wind side. Disconnecting autopilot. Land. Checked. And we will try to avoid to duck under. And we will use Papi from here. Hundred above. Checked. Three hundred. Minimum. Continue. Two hundred. There was some issue with the simulator, hence I was getting the ground proximity warning uh, for uh, glide slope. Please disregard the same. Seventy, sixty, fifty, forty. Clear. Twenty. Check. Retard. Ten. Five. Roll out. Check. Spoilers. Reverse. Green. Descend. Seventy knots, checked. Thank you guys if you liked it please uh, hit the like button and subscribe and uh, keep posting on what would you like to see from me until then happy landings